Jupiter Media presents. Obviously, Australia has a, lot, uh, a very extensive co coastline, so being able to see the ocean, uh, which can be uh, the first time which many uh, Nepalese students experience that as well. Now is the time for students to actually research what opportunities are out there, make informed decisions about where their future lies and what pathways may uh, come out of those particular opportunities. Destination Australia featuring all cities of Australia. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Destination Australia. We are continuously providing you the press information about studying Australia, opportunities inside the Australia and how do Nepalese diaspora are surviving there and developing their professional career in Australia. To give you all detail about it, we have very special guests from Alpha Cross's uh, University College uh, who is none other than Stephen. Let's welcome him to the show and share the all detail about the opportunities inside Australia. Uh, Stephen, you are welcome on our show. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. thanks, thanks for the opportunity and uh, namaste everyone. Namaste. Okay, so you are like uh, sharing the opportunities in Nepal now and it's your, I think, first visit from the Alpha Crosses. So let's have a talk about your visit for this time. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's my... It's my 11th trip to Nepal, but first uh, trip with Alpha Crucis. Um, I'm introducing Alpha Crucis University College to Nepal, as well as um, Nepal to Alpha Crucis University College. So it's a, a very pleasant opportunity to uh, be on your show today. Okay, so talking about the quality of education, we are visiting different university colleges and featuring destination Australia. In this case, let's have a talk about the Alpha Crucis University College. Okay, uh, what would you like to know? Uh, so Alpha Crucis University College was established in 1948. So we're about to um, celebrate our 75th anniversary uh, in, in the coming year, 2023. Um, we are newly establishing within uh, the international student, um, international student market, if you, if you will. So we're looking forward to welcoming many Nepalese students to our campuses. Um, at the moment, we are focusing uh, for international students at our Sydney campus. However, we do have campuses in Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth and Hobart as well. So in the future, we're hoping to have international students at all of our campuses. Okay, so talking about the quality of education, Nepalese students are trying to know about the detail about the university infrastructure uh, and the other facilities. In this case, how do you like assure that uh, ACU is delivering global standard education in uh, like a standard infrastructure? Infrastructure wise, we've been developing our infrastructure for the last 75 years. Like I said, we're about to celebrate our 75th anniversary. We do have very well established campuses, um, independent buildings uh, whereby students have very uh, extensive library facilities. We do have um, a chapel for our, our Christian students and we do offer a, a chapel service uh, every Wednesday during semester. We also have a very um, open communal dining areas where students can um, share their experiences with other international students. Our classrooms are well equipped, um, well equipped, so it's all uh, electronic, uh, electronic uh, smart boards and uh, Zoom facilities. So if your students offsite, things are, can be recorded. But uh, yeah, and our we do have a very um, uh, a, a, a very open um, academic network with okay. high levels of experience, and they do extensive research uh, within their fields as well. Okay. Uh, at the, off the record, we have talked about the uh, like wide range of courses. So let's have a talk about the popular courses at SEU, which is like uh, popular among international students. So uh, we've got an extensive range of courses, and the, from my journey in Nepal over the last week or so, uh, the popular courses have been Bachelor of Business, Bachelor of Applied Social Science, 
We also have Bachelor of Education uh, in three different areas, so early childhood and primary, primary as well as secondary. At the postgraduate level, Master of Counseling has been very popular, as well as Bachelor of, uh, sorry, Masters of, uh, Masters of Teaching, both primary and secondary. We also have Bachelor of, uh, Bachelor and Masters of Theology. So if students are looking for Christian studies, we also have that, that option as well. Okay, so actually uh, we are focusing to uh, like uh, share the more effective information for international students. Uh, in time and again, we are visiting in different university colleges and uh, sharing the experience of international student. At that phase, uh, how SEU is established there to welcome international student in terms of international student support center, uh, like um, uh, uh, student facilitation, like uh, staff, and how we create that welcoming environment for international students. Yeah, we have an international student office on each campus mm -hmm. uh, to welcome international students. They're well equipped with uh, dealing with international student issues. Beyond that, um, our Masters of Counseling students also service our uh, well-being center which is on campus mm -hmm. so international students quite often they're in their own uh, they're leaving their home country for the first time they're leaving their parents for the first time they're moving into a new environment new culture and those kind of elements so we do have a well-being center so if the student is feeling a little bit depressed or they they're not coping with their studies or those kind of things they can reach out to our well-being center for a, a free counseling service, which is directly on our, on our campus. Um, students students uh, deal with homesickness and those kind of things, particularly at festival time. So it's good to have that service on, on campus to assist students um, with life in Australia. Yeah, it has been decades that you are promoting study in Australia program, especially Australian education. Uh, and parallelly, our uh, like television show uh, is also like aware about it. In this case, this is a very good uh, opportunity to share the experience and the exposure of his study in Australia program. So, uh, how you uh, like uh, share the information about uh, beauties of his study in Australia? Why international students could have choose Australia for their higher education? Why should students come to? Um, yeah, why should they come to Australia for their education? Um, Australia offers a very good lifestyle. So um, similar to Nepalese culture, we're quite relaxed and a bit casual uh, with, with um, most uh, interactions. So the, uh, we have a very good climate as well. So um, some of the other competing uh, destinations, if students don't like harsh winters, we do have very nice summers. Um, the winter typically isn't as cold uh, in Australia is what it is in, in Nepal at the moment. Um, so yeah, very, very good environment. We do have um, very good uh, transport facilities in, in, in Sydney in particular. So we have uh, trains, trams, buses, ferries, um, taxis, although taxis are pretty expensive. Uh, but yeah, a very good opportunity uh, for students to come along and experience uh, life in Australia. Um, and yeah. And obviously, uh, sport is a very big part of Australian culture as well. So uh, I was just talking to a student a little bit earlier and he was uh, interested about watching the cricket. Um, mm -hmm. He was very excited about, um, he wanted to study in Australia because he wanted to watch uh, a Boxing Day test match mm -hmm. in uh, the MCG. So he was quite excited about that. So. Very good opportunity. Um, obviously, Australia has lot, uh, a very extensive coastline, so being able to see the ocean, uh, which can be uh, the first time which many uh, Nepalese students experience that as well. Yeah, of course. So thank you so much for the sharing uh, this information. So actually, uh, talking about the Nepalese diaspora and Nepalese community there in Australia, you're quite familiar with them. And even you are quite familiar here in local market as well. In this case, let's have a talk about the development of Nepalese diaspora there in Australia. How Nepalese are doing there so that the upcoming like uh, youngster can see their like uh, um, future goal that they will be easily settled there in their like professional career, business career, and other like opportunities. Well, it comes down to the choices that they make at this particular 
this this particular stage. So the the uh, Nepalese community that's already in Australia, they've made those choices, and those choices have allowed them to settle. So students uh, at this particular stage need to make a decision about where they see their future, uh, whether that's in teaching, whether it's in counselling, whether business or or um, um, other other ranges of courses. So um, it comes down to the research, which uh, future students actually do. So now is the time for students to actually research what opportunities are out there, make informed decisions about where their future lies and what pathways may uh, come out of those particular opportunities. Um, just backtracking to the previous question, I, I, I think um, some of the advantages of Australian education as well is, um, I guess the standard of education is really, really good in Australia. It's quite practical in nature. So students do experience a good level of practical education. The Australian government also has uh, a good level of uh, protections for international students as well. So uh, things like the tuition protection scheme. Um, also, the tuition protection scheme is one of, one of those things. Also, um, they do have protections if they do um, have issues with their provider where they can reach out to external government services to receive a resolution. Okay, so especially through our television and uh, like online uh, queries, they are talking about the opportunities in Australia and uh, most of the popular question is about scholarships. So how uh, like uh, Alpha Crisis um, uh, University College is providing um, uh, deserving um, uh, a student uh, for the like different scholarship schemes or that sort of um, uh, privilege for deserving students? Yeah, so we, we offer up to 30% scholarship on our courses uh, and that varies from course to course. So for example, our Bachelor of Business has a 20% scholarship. Our Bachelor of uh, Education, Early Childhood and Primary, that's offering a 30% scholarship at the moment, as is the Bachelor of Applied Social Science. Um, the other courses which, which I mentioned earlier, um, we have, uh, we're incredibly competitive with our pricing as well. So students, uh, students should consider the affordability for the long term. Um, typically Nepalese students, mum and dad will pay for the first semester and then they're on their own. So they need to really have a conversation with their family to see what is genuinely affordable, not only for a semester one, but some courses that we offer go up to four years. So they need to consider the full duration of that of the course and the overall costs and whether it's affordable for um, a family. Okay, so let's have a talk once again, the quality of education. Uh, so to provide the global standard education, what sort of the educational collaboration and the industrial collaboration with other like um, industry partner from the AUC. Yeah, so we all of our courses are accredited by the re relevant industry bodies. So, for example, our Bachelor of Business is accredited by CPA Australia as well as Chartered Accountants. Our uh, Bachelor of Applied Social Science is recognised by the Australian uh, Counselling Association. All of our uh, Bachelor of Education courses, as well as the Masters of Teaching, are recognised by NESA, um, as well as the other accreditation bodies within, um, within Australia. The Masters of, um, of uh, Counselling is also recognised by the Australian, Account uh, Australian Counselling Association. Um, and then we have also an extensive... Uh, number of industry partners which range uh, from our uh, Christian uh, our Christian um, uh, school network as well as New, New South Wales government schools um, and other industry um, industry businesses that do take our students on for uh, industry placements so it's very very important that students not only get the the knowledge, but also the practical experience um, so they can be successful in, the, in their chosen profession. Thank you so much for uh, the valuable information you provided. So we are at the end of this session. So what is your message to the prospective students and parents, those who are trying to get best institution 
uh, they're in Australia for their uh, future career. I think the most important thing for the students to look at now is while they're in Nepal is to research. Do lots of research about where you want to study, why you want to study, what specialization do you want to study in. So there's many different options. There's many different options across Australia. And make a decision for the long term uh, about the career choices because those longer term career choices um, are things that can benefit the student into the future. Also, um, I've been talking a little bit with IELTS preparation classes over the last couple of days and practicing English beyond just what is in an IELTS textbook, looking at things like YouTube, uh, acclimatizing to Australian accents uh, like mine. Also, doing lots of reading. So whether that's reading newspapers or Harry Potter or whatever, um, to build your vocabulary set. So the more work that you do on this side, the greater chance of success into the future. I think most importantly is um, families have that conversation about what, re what costs are realistic. So every family will have a different financial situation what they can afford for the longer term. Uh, obviously, the short term, shorter term goal will be coming to Australia, but obviously the longer term goal is to graduate from the course choice that they're choosing in Australia. Um, making a wise decision at this particular point means um, a, a, greater, a greater, greater chance of success in, in the longer term. Okay. So thank you so much for a wonderful information so that students and parents will definitely get the good guideline uh, to pursue their higher education in Australia. Once again, Stephen, thank you so much. Thunderbird. Destination Australia featuring all cities of Australia.